This is a little theory video to help uh, with those who are struggling with sight um, singing, who aren't too confident on the theory side behind the music. So I have uh, used a online whiteboard to draw us a little stave. Apologies for any wavy lines in my writing. Um, but this is just so I can easily edit it. So here in our first slide, we have five lines going down. This is called a stave, and this is where our music sits. To the left-hand side of the stave, I've drawn a very pretty symbol uh, called a treble clef. And this, when we're singing, uh, for most of us, is where our voices sit in terms of pitch. Um, and then I've drawn a bar line uh, down the middle, which indicates how we split each bar up individu individually. So today we're going to be splitting our notes into two different kinds of notes on the stave. Our first one is what we call line notes. So these notes have a line going through them. Now you can see three here, one on the bottom and two on the top, where I have had to draw a line through them. And these are notes going above and below the stave. Okay. The most important one is that one below the stave, which we'll talk about in a second. So let's now go through what these line notes are called in terms of letters. Now on the piano uh, and in any, on any instrument and in music itself, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We don't go to H, it is only those letters that are used. Our first note, our first line note that I was talking about that was important here is C. Now that C is very important because um, it is our middle C on the piano and um, it is really important for navigational purposes in music when going up and down um, the stave. So here in our line notes we have C, E, G, B, D, F, A, C. We'll notice we're skipping a letter each time. Okay, I've come up with a little rhyme that sort of makes sense for these line notes that I'd like my students to try and remember. Carol eats grapes because dark fruits are cool. And in my head, I'm thinking that these grapes are either red grapes or black grapes, not green grapes. So hopefully that little rhyme will help us when we're doing our line notes. Moving on, we have space notes. Now, these are notes in a space with no line going through them. And as you can see, we've got one below the stave and two above. Again, I've had to draw the line, but what you'll notice is the note head is sat on top of the line. Okay, it doesn't have a line going through the middle. Now, these space notes similarly go in an order where we're missing a note each time because that note would be the line note in between. So we have D, F, A, C, E, G, B, D. Here I've come up with a little rhyme that makes less sense than the previous one. Devious frogs always crave expressos greatly because of decaf. Now that doesn't make sense but hopefully we can remember that. So what we're going to do now is a little test on line notes and space notes. So get ready to pause this recording, okay? So this is slide one with, you should have blue notes in front of you and each of them has a line going through them. So if you pause this recording now and write down what letters you think it is. And here are the answers, E, B, A, F and C. Then we're going to go on to the space note test. Again, pause this recording and have a go. The answers are C, D, A, D, E. So hopefully this little video will have helped people remember our rhymes when we're looking at lines and space notes.